Sports fans nationwide, you have entered the Sports Opinion Log here in Lexanderson World. And in this video, sports historian, in the annals of sports history, let it be noted, last night, February 7th, 2021, Super Bowl 55 in Tampa Bay, Florida, hosted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, first time in NFL history, and also for the first time in NFL history, Tom Brady, a.k.a. Tom Terrific, a.k.a. Tampa Bay Brady, wins his fifth Super Bowl MVP and is a seven-time Super Bowl champion. More than my and your Pittsburgh Steelers with six, more than the Patriots, who he left with six. Tom Brady is a seven-time Super Bowl champion and you know what? I still don't like him, but I have to goddamn respect his place in NFL history. Final score over the defending Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs, 31-9. to Final score as the Kansas City Chiefs and Mahomes never dropped a touchdown. Butker, the field goal kicker, he was the only one who earned his paycheck. And just like that, Tom Brady set all kinds of history. And I know people out there are talking about, oh, the refs this, the refs that. STFU. At the end of the day, Mahomes couldn't make it happen. They were never a threat. And midway through the fourth quarter, that was all she wrote. As the commentators kept trying to sell you on the hype. Oh, well, Patrick Mahomes went down by double digits. He's 4-1. and one. Make it 4-2. and two. Make it Mahomes' only two losses in the playoffs were to Tom Brady, who he's now 0-2 against in the playoffs. 6-0 and oh versus the other quarterbacks. And I'm sure this loss will hurt for a very long time. Shout out DJ Porzcut. Next generation stats will tell us that Mahomes was pressured 29 times, a Super Bowl record. He ran for 497 yards the other way because he was pressured all game long. <laughs> also a Super Bowl record. Oh, and also a Super Bowl record in the second quarter. What was it, 90, 95 yards off of penalties? Thanks to Tyrion Matthew, the honey badger, who had a meltdown, getting in the face of the goat. The weekend, how about the halftime performance, which a lot of people were kind of lukewarm on social media. But what have you accomplished with your fucking life? Fucking nothing. Because the gift of him going through the room of lights has over 45 million views. So clearly, there's something about the weekend that America and Canada, which he is from, were feeling. And unfortunately, this is also the last NFL video of the year here in the Sports Opinion Log. So let's go out with a bang. I've got some stats regarding the Super Bowl. So let's go. Tom Brady becomes the first NFL player to win a title in three different decades, the 2000s, the 2010s, and now here in the 2020s, 2001, 2003, 2004, 2014, 16, 18, and now 2021. He is also the first player to win Super Bowl MVP with two different teams. Tom Brady also has 34 career playoff wins, more than twice as many as the next quarterback, which would be Hall of Famer Joe Montana. Brady also joins Peyton Manning as the only two players, quarterbacks, of course, in NFL history, to win two Super Bowls with two different teams. Tom Brady is also the first quarterback in NFL history to defeat three former Super Bowl MVP quarterbacks in a single postseason. Mahomes, Breeze, and Aaron Rodgers. 
And an interesting stat in the first quarter by the commentators was that Jason Pierre-Paul is actually undefeated 7-0 in the playoffs. And he also is the fourth player in NFL history to win a Super Bowl against Tom Brady and to win a Super Bowl with Tom Brady as his teammate. And remember how for the first time in his Super Bowl career resume, Tom Brady scored first in the first quarter? Tom Brady also is 80 and 48, a winning percentage of .625 when his team does not score first in a game, including playoffs, the second highest winning percentage in the Super Bowl era. And how about this one? Teams to win the coin toss have now lost seven straight Super Bowls. Tom Brady is now 12 and 1 in the playoffs when up by 10 plus points at halftime, the most such wins in the Super Bowl era. How about this for a crazy stat? Each of Patrick Mahomes' four career postseason interceptions have come in the Super Bowl. He's thrown zero interceptions in his other six playoff starts. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are also the first team in NFL history with 30-plus points in each of the four games of a single postseason. Leonard Fournette, cut by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Brady gave him the call, come with me, come to Tampa Bay. It paid off in dividends as he joins Larry Fitzgerald, 2008, and Terrell Davis, 1997, as the only players with one-plus scrimmage touchdown in four games of a single postseason. Fournette also has 50-plus rushing yards and one-plus touchdown in six straight playoff games. Only Hall of Famers Terrell Davis and John Riggins have longer set streaks since 1970. Tom Brady has also surpassed Hall of Famer Kurt Warner and Aaron Rodgers, Aaron with two, for the most postseasons with a thousand-plus passing yards in NFL history, and his 83 career passing touchdowns in the playoffs are the most. The next closest quarterback in NFL history has only 45. Gronk, Brady's teammate from New England, he caught two touchdowns. Antonio Brown, A.B., also played only one game with Tom Brady. But guess what? Brady made the call. Join me in Tampa Bay. And he also caught a touchdown pass. Three touchdowns in Super Bowl 55 for Tom Brady. And how about Gronk? The first player in NFL history with one plus reception in five different Super Bowls. Gronkowski has also passed Hall of Famer John Stallworth, 12, for the second most postseason receiving touchdowns in NFL history. And Tom Brady... TB12 and Gronk have set the all-time playoff record for most passing touchdowns by a quarterback to a catcher duo with 14. Respect the history set by Tom Brady. But of course, being the top one percenter in the people sportscaster, the one thing that I will not ever do is compare Michael Jordan to Tom Brady. You know why sports fans nationwide? Because Michael Jordan was an NBA player. Tom Brady is an NFL player. Different dynamic. And even the king, LeBron James. I'm not going to compare. Football, basketball. Basketball, league of your own. Tom Brady, NFL, he rules it. And there you have it, sports fans nationwide. We've come to the end of the NFL season. I would like to say it was electric. The game was honestly fucking boring (laughs) because the Chiefs couldn't do anything on their end. I read somewhere that Mahomes said that it will stick with him for the rest of his career. And it should stick with him for the rest of his career because, damn it, it's February. It's Black History Month. And you had a chance, like Russell Wilson, to become a two-time back-to-back Super Bowl champion. And once again, history has been derailed. By the goat, Tom Brady, still getting the job done. Like I said, I don't have to like it, but I respect it. Make sure you subscribe. Press the bell icon so you get the notification. Thank you to all of you sports fans nationwide and on IGTV that watch the video till its entirety. 
You're greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, for viewing, for sharing, for commenting. It means the world to me. Thank you very much. Oh, and special shout out to my girlfriend, Desi Robin 23 who was with me by my side when we were watching Super Bowl 55. The prophet, for all his decrees, for all his predictions, gets undone by his girlfriend who has a love for Florida. Thank you all very much. Until next time, sports fans nationwide, with a wave of this terrible towel representing the Steel City from New York City, Lex Anderson, signing out.